around here. There we go. All right. There we go. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Daddy's not here. He's at work. <laughs> go finish eating. Go. <clears throat> All right, guys. So happy. What's today? Tuesday. And um, so today I am going to show you my method of making faux leather now i have been trying different techniques this isn't anything new this isn't anything that i came up with but i saw it and i was like you know what i want to try that because i think it looked amazing i thought it was freaking genius like i was like whoa and then i you know decided to try a couple different things and i I don't like something else that I came up with that I haven't seen anybody else do. So I'm going to show you that. But basically, the faux leather ends up looking like this. Now, this one, <clears throat> I did not cover in Mod Podge. So um, it doesn't have that like shiny look to it. But I kind of like it. It's nice and soft. And when you feel it, it does just feel like material as opposed to like paper or anything like that. So this is what I'm making. And these are the few like, I guess, prototypes that I have. And on screen, it looks kind of weird because I don't know, it just doesn't look as good. But, um, you know, I did a few different, like I used a few different techniques that I saw online. And like I said, this isn't something that I came up with, but I did try something different. So let's see. But, um, okay, so this one I did, and this one I used regular, like, glossy Mod Podge on top. And then this one I used the matte, and it kind of feels a little bit rough. But I'm thinking, like, over time, as you use it, it'll soften up a little bit. I wasn't too happy with the way that the Mod Podge kind of came up on it. Now, mind you, these are not finished. This was me just trying, like... To see how it works out so this is just um let me see this one i just sprayed the paper oops i wrote on the inside here um oh yeah so this one i just sprayed with the solution that i'm going to tell you about and i didn't add any mod podge i didn't do anything else with it and it's okay it it's soft um I could have probably added a little bit more of the solution and it probably would have come out better. Then this here, I put, I wet with the water and then I put conditioner on it. So it made it, you know, so it looks good. This one feels good. The only thing about this method here is you're going to have to use like cardboard or cardstock underneath it because it's just paper. So obviously it's not going to work as well um and then I just made like a big piece and this one I actually like the way that it turned out and that's actually what this one is so I really like the way that it looks and I'm going to be using this to make a journal as well and I mean when you're looking at it there it looks like you know just paper but when you're in person it looks like faux leather and then okay so I'm going to show you what I used and then I'm going to show you the technique that I use. So I am using what I used for all of these for the first ones that I did. And the one that's on this book is if you've ever bought uh, wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree, the roll that's on the inside is not actually just a roll. It's this paper rolled up into a tube and it's nice and thick. Hi, Charlene. Um, it's nice and thick and it works out perfect and if you don't have obviously if you don't have any of this paper you want to use a um, like a shopping bag or grocery bag but you need the thicker paper so you know some grocery bags are really thin Whole Foods has some nice thick paper and it's very comparable to what I used um, that what I use, it's really thick. So that's what you want to look for. You want to look for, you know, thick uh, grocery bags or not. Gro yeah, grocery bags. 
And, you know, if you live near a Menards and they send the flyers, this is a good, nice, thick one. So that's also a good option. Now, I do like the way that that came out. It came out nice. The texture is good. But I wanted to try, I've got like furry all over the place. I wanted to try something different. And I really like the way this turned out. Like, I really like the way that the, these turned out. Now, this one is a lot thicker. This is just a piece of um, chipboard that I had. Now, it's not as soft and I haven't, I haven't uh, colored it with any stain or anything yet. So, you know, but it is thicker. The only thing with this is that because, you know, it's thicker, it's layers. So it kind of started coming apart. But obviously, you can just get some glue, put it in there, and it'll be fine. I like this because it's thicker. That way, you're not going to need like a piece of cardboard or anything underneath. So if you have a piece of chipboard that's big enough or a size that you want it to be, I mean, it works out. And as you can see, I'm able to kind of move it around. It's thick enough. So I did like that. And these are just other chipboard pieces that I had. And like I said, the, you know, the solution that I use does kind of make them a little bit more flexible and, you know, usable. So there's that. Now, I did try <clears throat> using just like a box, like regular box from like crackers or anything like that. And it works, and I was able to get the little, get the picture off of it, and I'm going to show you how I did that. This turned out pretty good. So it's, again, it's a little bit thicker than the bag, and it works out well. So I think this would be a good, you know, alternative to using what I'm going to show you if you don't have it. Um, so that's what these are. And then I actually used a toilet paper roll. And I kind of like it. The only thing is because done. you're done. Good job. Um, just throw that in the garbage. And then the only reason that I don't like this is because, you know, the toilet paper rolls are in pieces. So that's the only thing, you know, that wouldn't really work out too well. But I mean, the, the texture of it and everything is great. So if you can, I'm trying to think, you can probably just glue these pieces down. I mean, they're already glued down, you know, when you buy them. Let's see how like this one is kind of coming off. So this might be good just to use for like a small piece of something, maybe. I don't know, but it works. Now, my favorite one by far has been the back of the notebooks, the chipboard that's like on the back of the notebooks. Because it's just thick enough and it's just thin enough to make it perfect. It's nice and soft. This works out the best. Hey, Leah. This works out the best. So this is, I'm going to show you how I did it with this. And I'm also going to show you, I've got all the fuzzies everywhere. And I'm going to show you how to use a piece of like a box. Because that one did turn out pretty good. It's nice and thick. It's almost the same texture as the uh, notebook backing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to start off by cleaning all this stuff off. And it is dusty because of all the particles. So you're going to see dust down here. All right. So I'm going to start off with the Hey Liz. Um, I'm going to start off with the box. This is just like a box from crackers that I purchased. And I'm going to cut off all this excess stuff here. You don't need all that. And, you know, depending on what you're using it for, you know, is going to depend on what size of box or bag or whatever you're going to use. You know, if you want a big piece of faux leather, then obviously you're going to want to go with like the shopping bag, the grocery bag, because it's bigger and you can get a... A bigger surface area so there's you know so that's what you're gonna want to use so I'm gonna put this down here and I'm going to move you down so you can see what I'm doing here hopefully it's gonna look kind of crazy but it's okay so I'm gonna put you right here I guess 
This should be good. Let's see. Uh, there we go. All right. I guess that'll work. Oops. There we go. All right. It's kind of weird looking, but so this is the box. Now, what you're going to do is what I did is I took a spray bottle and some conditioner. And this is just conditioner that I had on hand that I hadn't been using. But what I would recommend is using a conditioner that has like a humectant in it, like a moisturizing um, conditioner. You don't have to get any like name brand. You can just get some generic, you know, anything from the Dollar Tree, Swap, anything, you know, any generic conditioner. As long as it's moisturizing, that's what you need because that's what's going to, you know, bond the the fat, the fibers in the cardboard or the bag or whatever you use. It's going to condition it. It's going to soften it up. It's going to make it pliable and make it easier to work with. Let me move this back just a little bit. So then what I do is I, I don't measure it <laughs> at all. I just take the bottle of water. I filled it up. I've been using this one trying to, like I said, work on my technique. There's a couple of different ways that you can do it. So you just fill this up with water and add conditioner to it. I Like I said, I just added a bunch of conditioner to it and it works out just fine. So I'm going to shake it up and you can do that, you know, mix it in here. Or you can just do water, spray it, get it nice and wet, and then take the conditioner and pour it on there and smooth it over it. So either way works great, but I'm going to do it this way just because it's easier. And this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it. And then I'm going to let it sit for a minute because I want that water to soak in there and get in there real. And I didn't bring a paper towel with me to dry my hands. Ah, all right. So you're just going to let it sit in there and you're going to let it soak up the conditioner and water and whatnot. So I'm going to set this um, somewhere. Where am I going to set you? I thought I had another... Thought I had another one of these little plastic mats around here. Oh, you know what? Here we go. I know what to do. I got my little silicone glue thing. I'll sit it right there for now. Then what I'm going to do is show you the technique that I really liked and the one that really worked well for me. And it's just the back of a notebook. So I'm going to cut that out real quick. And this one, like I said, this came out so good. It feels really good so you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna take the solution this one you're gonna do both sides to make sure it's nice and um, saturated not soaked but just make sure it's nice and wet all of it you know you got all the corners all the edges everything is wet and you'll be able to tell like if there's any parts that are dry because it looks dry so then yes and then Oops, my thing is freaking. Leave that alone. That's your sister's. All right, so you're just going to go ahead, saturate it. Yeah, that's her unicorn. Go back over there. Go finish eating. Uh, all right, so you're going to do that. Let it soak in there. And again, if you want to, it's it won't hurt. You can take some of the conditioner. If I can get it out of here, just put some more on there and just rub it in there. And I wish I would have grabbed a paper towel, but I did not. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of messy. You do get kind of wet. Now, once this is done, you know, once you're done with this part of it, you're going to let it kind of dry up just a little bit. Let that soak in there, right? And let it soak for a second. So this one over here is almost ready. So I'm going to put just a little bit more water. See those little dry I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a couple little dry spots. You want all of that nice and wet. So I'm going to go ahead, just make sure I get all that wet there. And it really is important to get it, you know, get all those pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, nice and wet. All right. I need something to dry my hands. Let's see. I have a bag that's going to Goodwill, so I'm going to grab a t-shirt. <laughs> out of here and use that um all right oops all right so that's pretty good and soaked there so once you have this especially if you're using like a box from like food or whatever 
what you're going to do is take that one layer where the picture, you know, is at, and you're just going to kind of peel it carefully. And if it's not completely done, you won't be able to. So I just took some more of that <clears throat> and just did that. And this is easier to do in the ba in the bathroom, in the kitchen. I did it in the sink and just kind of wet it as I was going, but this will work as well. So you just peel it off. Carefully there. Go finish, go finish eating, please. All right, so there's that. And then once you finish peeling it, you're going to wet that part and get it nice and wet as well. All right, let that kind of saturate there. Then, so because this is thicker, usually when you're using the bag, you can just take it and ball it up, no problem. Because this is a little bit thicker, what I did was I kind of folded it up and then you squ squish it carefully so you don't tear it but you do that this one you can't really ball up like i said because it's so much thicker if this was a bag it would definitely um you could just crumble it all up no problem but this you just kind of scrunch it up little by little making sure you don't break it or tear you know tear it up and just keep going until you get the texture that you want and you're gonna see all the little ridges and everything and you need those because that's what's gonna make it look like leather so you just keep scrunching it up and then you open it up and then do it from like a different direction so then I fold it this way and scrunch it that way and just keep doing it so you get all that texture in there So as you can see, it has all these little, you know, texture and raised pieces. And you can do this as much as you want till you get the texture that you want. So then I'm going to set this to the side here. And then I'm going to try this one too. You got to use the washroom. Oh. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just squish it up. And squish it and squish it and just keep going. Yeah. Sorry, my little, it's just me and my little guy, so I don't have anybody to keep him from coming over here and interrupting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so then yeah. you're gonna have to wait a second, baby. So you just keep, this one's a little bit softer. It's not as thick as the chipboard from the notebook. But I just love the texture that you get when you do that. So like I said, you can do that as much as you want. You know, go back, do this again. And just keep getting it as textured as you want. So then what you're going to do after you do that is you are going to set it somewhere to dry. Now, usually I'll get like a pants hanger and I'll just clip it on there, and let it dry that way, but you can lay it flat and it'll dry. And they dry pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna set these to the side right now and then I'm going to use one of, I'm gonna use this to wipe this off here. Get a little bit cleaner. And then I'm going to show you what you have to do next. So these are the, um, ones that i already finished so magic of youtube oh. yes yeah. okay hold on so this is these two pieces are the box the the food boxes and these three pieces are the backing of the notebooks so even now you can take them and if you don't you know if there's not enough texture on them just take it and kind of ball it up and it's dry now so this is stuff that i've already made and you can again you can do whatever you want if you like the texture of it like that then you leave it 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Distress ink, and you can use whatever color you want. I am using Vintage Photo because it's what I have on hand here. But you can use shoe polish. You can use, you know, any other inks that you have. But this just works pretty well. So then you just take it and start kind of rubbing it on there. Don't go back and forth. Just go one way and then go the other way. And that way you can get all the different you know, angles and all the different pieces there. Now I will say that this one sheds a little bit more than the paper bag. So you're gonna have to kind of wipe off whatever came off and then do it again. And it's gonna take off like any of the excess, I guess, fuzz. No, 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 go, to the, go over there, go over there, go, go that way. And you're just going to do that to all of them. You just get the texture, do that. And then you have your... Go ahead. Okay, go. You have your faux leather. I mean, look at that. So this is what it looks like when it's all textured. And you can do one side or both sides. It's completely up to you depending on how you're going to use it. So what I did with mine was once I had it textured the way that I wanted, the inside of my journal was like this. But if you're going to use it for a different project and you're using it, you know, to make some artwork or anything like that, obviously you're going to make it as big as you want and do, uh-huh. Okay. And you're just going to do, you know. Okay, shh. And you're just going to, you know, finish it however you see fit, however you want to finish it. Again, you don't have to do both sides. You can just do one side. You can do it in black or whatever, you know, color you want, whatever color you have on hand. That's completely up to you. Again, you're going to have to, like, wipe off some of that fuzz. You see how it's kind of coming off here. Um but it works. It looks great. And again, you're going to keep doing it. And then if you're using it on something and it has like the edges, then you can kind of, you know how when you touch suede or leather, the, the oils from your finger kind of make that part a little bit, you know, darker or whatever. So you can texture it up however you want. But that's, I mean, it's so simple and you use things that you already have. So that's always a good thing. So yeah, that's my technique. And I've seen people, oops, that's kind of crazy, huh? I've seen people use glycerin and I thought the conditioner would work a lot what? better. But of course, yes, baby. Of course you yeah. can use um, glycerin if you have it. But I think the conditioner works great. And these are the ones that I just finished. And look at that, looks great. And it feels, I mean, it's so, you know, pliable. You know, it starts off <laughs> so hard. You know, you're starting off with this, and of course it's pliable, but it's not the same, you know, the same thing. So it works great, and I will be using these for some future projects. I'll also be using them on my um, journaling channel. I'm going to be making some more journals out of them. Hey, Sandra. Um, so I'll be making some more journals. This is just, these were just small pieces. I kind of cut them up. Because I was just trying to get some different techniques, trying to figure out what was going to work better. And yeah, so, so far, aside from the like shopping bag ones, hey, Teresa, thanks for stopping by. Um, aside from the paper bag, which works really well, but like I said, you have to use something underneath it to kind of get it a little bit thicker. Um, I really like the backing of the notebook. So if you have any old notebooks that you're, you know, done using, tear off that back page, the chipboard on the back, and it makes great faux leather. So you can get some bigger pieces. If you take a bag, open up the bag, use that. Um, or like I said, the Dollar Tree wrapping paper has this really thick, um, like, I, it's not even craft paper because this is a lot thicker. So yeah, so definitely this worked really, really well. So that was it for today's video. I know it was quick and short, but my little guy is back there 
needing me. So I'm going to cut this short, but I am going to be back with a haul video later. And I'll probably go live again later tonight once or later today, maybe once everything is settled down and maybe do that live. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that yet. But, um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who stopped by and chatted with me on the live and everyone who is watching the replay thank you so much for stopping by hope you stick around hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell and leave me a comment let me know what you thought about the technique and that's it guys until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye